Alright, so, you know, we have more games canceled again this week, but what we do have is a beautiful top 10 matchup tonight. Now, there is a game going on right now. It's at halftime as of the time of this recording. UConn only up by three against St. John's. I wonder how that's going to go in the second half. I'm not interested in that game right now. But I am interested in tonight's game. Kansas, Baylor, big time matchup. Oh, you already know, the matchup between Jalen Wilson and Jared Butler. Big time matchup there in the top 10. And Baylor's still undefeated in the Big 12, so things are looking hella interesting. Alabama has somehow, they are undefeated in the SEC. They have risen in the rankings. A very good LSU team they take on tomorrow night. Um, there's some other games on Tuesday as well, such as Seton Hall, Villanova, a struggle. Well, not really struggling Illinois. I mean, Illinois is in the toughest conference right now, has the toughest schedule out of all of them. So, you know, them being at number 22 isn't really too much of a surprise right now. Um, there are were some games canceled. My Longhorns got a game canceled, you know, for Wednesday. So there's no Wednesday game for us against Iowa State. I know Illinois' other game against Michigan State got canceled too, so that's not happening. Um, uh, Thursday, you know, UCLA has come into the rankings. They'll be taking on the Cal. UCLA is very good in the Pac-12. We were supposed to get UCLA Oregon on Saturday, I think, but that's not happening now either. Um, you know, same old, same old for most of the top 25, mostly unranked opponents. That we've seen, you know, throughout the week. Um, Indiana, they're taking on uh, on the number four Iowa Hawkeyes. Indiana's no slouch. Remember that. But, you know, Luka Garza and company can score at will. But the biggest day, obviously, is Saturday. Saturday, it's January 23rd. Big time Saturday. Oklahoma State, Kate Cunningham and company taking on Baylor. That's going to be fun. Cincinnati. Haven't seen them play yet this year, um, but it's interesting to see what in the world's going on in the American Athletic Conference right now because it feels like it's been Houston and then nobody else has stepped up. Um, also on Saturday, Creighton taking on UConn, so that right there is going to be interesting right there. How in the world? Because Creighton can score, UConn has been a team that I've been wanting to watch for a little while now, and... I'm going to get to do it. I'm going to get to do it. I'm going to get to do it on Saturday. Then there's also a top 15 matchup. Wisconsin, Ohio State. You know, it's going to be one hell of a matchup. You know, lots of guards for both teams in this in this game. And, you know, Wisconsin has to bounce back this week. they got to bounce back big time this week at all costs. Because that loss last week against Michigan really rocked them, really set them back a little bit, I think. But they have another chance to prove themselves in a big-time ranked matchup this week. Um, my Longhorns are taking on TCU on Saturday. Obviously, we can't take on Iowa State on Wednesday night, but we can do this game against TCU on Saturday. You see, again, UCLA is in the top 25, and they also have another game on Saturday against Stanford. wonder how that's going to go there. Um, Providence is taking on Villanova. Pretty interesting there. Um, how about Gonzaga? They're taking on Pacific. Not not really much I can say there about the Zags. Not really much I can say there at all. Oregon somehow still ranked in the top 25. I mean, they've been hovering at the bottom of the top 25 for a while. So I wonder how that's going to go. There's only one other ranked versus ranked matchup, and that is Missouri and Tennessee. Missouri barely hanging on by a thread in these rankings. And Tennessee... You know, they are looking pretty damn good themselves. Number six in the country. How in the world is that going to go? There's no ranked versus ranked matchups on Sunday. There's no ranked games on Sunday, so there's no reason to watch. We, there's the NFL championship games on that day anyway. But, yeah. Um, I don't really have a lot to say for this week. Um, mostly because, I mean, things got thrown up in an upheaval because of how many games got canceled and stuff like that. And, you know, there's some new additions in the rankings, you know. I wonder how Roy Smart and Alabama's going to do this week. You know, 
very good team there. They have surprised everybody, including myself. Um, they, and there's other teams that are in the top 25 and it just look very interesting. There's no Duke, there's no North Carolina, and there's no Kentucky in the top 25. None of those three teams are there. It's the first time in a long time we haven't seen that combination in the top 25. Uh, but yeah, top seats Irby, you know, time. But focus on Monday night. Folk, let's focus on Monday night first. That is going to be one hell of a game. Going to be one hell of a game Monday night. You know, you know I mean, Kansas is also taking on Oklahoma on Saturday. And Baylor is taking on, yeah, I already said Oklahoma State on Saturday. And, of course, there's some other games, too, that are on Saturday as well, like Clemson, Florida State, West Virginia, Kansas State. Those don't really interest me as much. But, yeah, keep an eye out this week for some of these big matchups, especially on Saturday and the one tonight. This is going to be an interesting week, I'll tell you that much. And keep an eye out for some of these smaller schools like Winthrop that are still undefeated and Drake, which has two Division II wins, which is rather unfortunate. Shouldn't be scheduling the Division II teams anyway. That should I've already harped on about that weeks ago. Like I've harped on about that for years now. So, you know, shouldn't be scheduling Division II opponents. Just don't even schedule anybody if you're going to try and do that. But whatever. So keep an eye out for the smaller schools that are getting up gaudy records and putting up points and whatnot. And on the other side, and on the other side of the spectrum, let's hope no more games get canceled this week. Uh, I'm kind of tired of them. <laughs> I mean, we're, tr we're trudging along. We're trudging along because Villanova hasn't played in what a month. You know. Yeah. You know, same old storylines. Same old storylines. I'll see you, everybody.